Hello, right, what is going on, people? And welcome back to another episode of Arc Survival Evolved Max Speed. And this is the first one I'm doing on my new computer build. I mean, I got some leftover parts like my 1080 is still there, hard drive SSD and all that. But I got an i7-8700, so I've got Arc Max out today for your viewing pleasure. And oh, it's so much different running this game at a like a good graphical setting and not crashing every two seconds or unloading everything. Because I was at an i5-4690K before. But now I'm up to a uh, i7-8700. But on to the video. We're doing max oxygen today for the player. And the player's been receiving a lot of love recently with two parts for the movement speed. And now for oxygen. And the player, I never thought it would cap out at so high. But if you put all of your points into oxygen, you will be sitting at 2,740. Or about 27 times what you started with. Uh, which is nuts. That's pretty crazy. There's not a lot you can do to increase your movement speed with oxygen. Uh, movement speed on land will translate over, so we're going to take the Battle Tartar and Focal Chili, and we're going to go ahead and apply those to our character, and then the Lazarus Chowder, not because it does anything for movement speed in the water, but just because it's something to have to make our oxygen go down slower. And, uh, we're going to put on Flippers, which increase your movement speed by 2.5%. So, as you can see, it is very, very, very fast in the water, and there's quite a stark comparison when we're basically on movement speed stock for what we're on land with. Uh, to going into the water and just going so much faster once we've gotten everything applied to it and and the flippers slow us down even further we do have swamp fever for our player uh, for every point of movement speed for every 1% you get 1.2% movement speed in the water so your movement speed on land will affect your movement speed in the water to a degree but it's far less than your oxygen will now there's not very many figures online so I'm not going to go ahead and display that and unfortunately I can't pull up any numbers or math to prove just how fast we're going but uh, I'm going to compare it to a couple of different dinosaurs, the first of which is the Plesio, which has always been a very quick foe underwater, and if you're kind of on a slower mount, like a Dunkleosteus or even a Megalodon, which I hate to say is so slow, but it is, it's kind of hard to get away from Plesiosaurus, but with the player, not a, not a challenge whatsoever. We're able to just completely clear out from their path, and they never even catch up to us after this. It's completely nuts. Uh, when you're underwater with the player and the tech suit in arc you can kind of boost with the jetpack so I have it left off for the moment but we're gonna be going ahead and switching between the two things to be honest I didn't notice any difference in movement speed between having the jetpack on versus having just flippers with 2740 oxygen um, it doesn't look like there's too much of a difference it's very hard to test that in arc because the oceans are fairly disorientating and there's not really set points you can look at and and check between on a larger scale but uh, it, it certainly was interesting to look at this sort of thing and see just how fast the player is when you put it in the water with this amount of oxygen uh, I'm not gonna be looking at any more oxygen max speed but for oxygen videos in the future just because of the fact that you can't really control it when it's for dinosaurs with a player you're always gonna start at 100 oxygen um, with a dinosaur you're always gonna be starting at whatever movement speed it starts at whether it's a hundred percent 120, 130, or 222.6. Uh, but you can't control for that when you're with a dinosaur, you know. A 150 dinosaur could, in theory, have level 1 oxygen. Uh, or a 150 dinosaur could have all of its 150 points put in oxygen. It's very hard to control for that. And I don't really think it warrants having its own series. But for the player, I will do it. Just because it was the most upvoted thing. And I thought maybe it wouldn't be a complete waste of time. Mosasaurs will still catch up to you when they're an alpha mosasaur. Uh, there's no escaping that, I hate to say it. It looked like for a while we were going to be able to get away from it, to the point where it wouldn't be able to hit us, but at least we were going to be able to, you know, stay right beside it, but it wouldn't be able to bite us, it wouldn't be able to attack because it was too focused on swimming after us, but uh, unfortunately that's not the case. I spawned in another one, but I did it too high up, and we've run out of battle tartar, so I'm just going to have to go back up on land and uh, refresh that. But, uh, as you can see, the Alpha Mosasaur is, is way too fast for the player, even with max oxygen, so... Sorry to all you people with high lung capacities everywhere, but you'll never be able to outspeed that with vanilla rates in the player, so... Um... Another thing to kind of look at is whether or not you run faster on top of the water with the tech suit, or if you swim faster, and, again, uh, it's, it's quite a bit faster to just run on top of the water with a tech suit. So if you're in a position where you can beat the boss and get the... I think it's the leggings, or maybe it's the boots that require you you to, you to have in order to run across the water, like uh, like that. But uh, unfortunately, it's 
it's a bit faster than just having max oxygen with flippers to, to run across the water with a tech gear rather than to swim through it with 133 levels and flippers. Uh, yeah. I got some complaints about some of the oxygen based things in ARC. I really hate that the scuba gear is unlocked to such a high level. I mean, by the time that you learn how to use scuba gear, you're able to blast things out of the sky with a rocket launcher practically, and it's kind of stupid. But uh, there's not really too much more I can say. As you can see here, we're very capable of outspeeding a regular Mosasaur, and it's not even relatively close. So, if you see an Alpha, run. If you don't see an Alpha, not a lot is going to be able to challenge you when you're this fast in the water, and it could be quite an efficient way for taming things if you have enough mind wipe tonics that you can just keep going over and over in your server doesn't allow you to uh, only do one mind wipe tonic per level. So, uh, I spoke about it a little bit in the last video, which was the Talic Ethereum, but uh, we're going to be taking a look at how to fix the Pachycephalosaurus, which is going to be a very similar format to how to fix the Scorpion, which if you haven't seen that video already, if you, if you look at that one, it'll show you just what the Pachy video is going to be like, but it's... I'm looking for suggestions, just little things that you could think to change it, to tweak it, not necessarily like, oh, make it have more health, but something like, well, let's make it have the ability to break down any doors, for example. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's going to do it for me. This game looks gorgeous now, and I've got everything maxed out. <sighs> I'm really happy to have everything finished and built. So, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of Whatever We Make. Peace!